In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Ethernet cable setup of your Epson Workforce 4830 printer. This will help you to connect your printer with the home wireless network using the Ethernet cable. And if you use the Ethernet cable, your printing and scanning will be much faster than before. It's a very easy setup. Once you connect your printer with your router using the Ethernet cable, then you can use it for wireless printing and scanning with different devices. So first step is to switch on the printer. Look for the Ethernet cable port. So if you go at the back of the printer, so we can see this is the Ethernet cable port. It says for LAN. And you just have to plug in one end of the Ethernet cable here. Go to your router and look for the yellow ports. The ports with the yellow color. These are for the connection. You can also use the one if you have extra for the speed. Now plug in the Ethernet cable here. I have connected the other end to the router. Next step is to go to your printer and here we have to do the LAN setup. Go to the settings, select journal settings, network settings. You will see the option wired LAN setup. You can click on it. It will ask you to set up a wired LAN connection. You must First, disable the Wi-Fi connection. Go back. Click on the Wi-Fi setup. Select Wi-Fi recommended. Click on the change settings. Click on the other. Select, select the last option. Disable Wi-Fi. Click start setup. So we are going to disable the Wi-Fi. Close. Now go back. Again, go to the settings. General settings. Network setting, select wired LAN setup. It will ask you to connect the router to the printer with the LAN cable. But once it recognizes it, it will start to work. So press OK. We can go to the home. Because we have plugged in both ends, you will see on the top it displays small icon. If you click on it, you will see router and it displays the Ethernet cable sign. Also you will see this option is dark in color. Now in case your Ethernet cable is not working, if your printer is not connected with the router, then this will fade up. For example, if I disconnect the Ethernet cable, this will fade in color. But if I plug it in, it, it will come back. So make sure your Ethernet cable is in good condition, it is connected properly. Next step is to connect this printer with the different devices for wireless printing and scanning. If you want to use it with the smartphone, you just have to go to the Epson Smart Panel app. And on the main screen of the app, it will display there is no printer. And to add a printer, click on the plus icon. It will take you to the next screen. Here we have the option connect to a product already on Wi-Fi. Select it. Because your printer is already connected to the router, so it will display on your Wi-Fi like a Wi-Fi printer. 
here we can see workforce 4830 series select it wait for few seconds and it will add up the printer if you are stuck on a screen where the printer is not adding up you can just close the app and then reopen the app sometimes it doesn't show what printer is updated here so right now we can see automatically it has arrived here it displays the estimated level of ink and we can start using it from here for example to do the printing and scanning let's do the wireless printing you can select any document so I have a list of documents here and I'm just going to print one of them for example I'll print this one once you see this page click on the print icon we can see clearly like it has sent the print command quickly and it has started to print but right now I don't have anything in the cartridges so it's just printing blank or maybe the ink cartridge is jammed because printer is not used from few months but it has received the signal so let's do the scanning that will give you more idea so I'm just going to use the ADF tray you can scan multiple pages with this printer place it here go to the app section and look for the scan icon click on the start and it's really quick we can see both pages are scanned here and now we can click on the next and we can just save them so this way we can do the wireless setup of the printer using the ethernet cable so this way we can do the setup of the printer using the ethernet cable and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning in the same way you can add it in a windows 11 laptop using the Epson smart panel app or you can also download the drivers for your Windows laptop or MacBook and then you can start using it. Thanks for watching.